painting my Latin project. Every year for Latin class, we have this big project that happens end of January, mid-February. I've done goddesses all four years, so I decided to continue the tradition this year, and I'm doing my project on the goddess Diana. She is like a triple goddess or a triple deity, and she is known as Diana the Huntress, god of hunting and animals, and then Celeste slash Luna, god of the moon, and then she's also known as Hectate, queen of the underworld, so... Diana in the front with the moon behind her and then stars all around her and up top there would be constellations that represented what she did and I thought the idea was really really cool so I took that and then I sketched it onto a canvas which I didn't film be mainly because I did this at like 3 a.m. one night when I couldn't sleep and I just got like inspiration to be artistic and then the next day I started painting. So I started by painting the background. So I ended up mixing this dark blue color, which I actually really liked. Um, it took me like five tries to mix it correctly and the way I wanted it, but it ended up looking really good. And then after that, I moved on to painting the moon. I know the moon is kind of like a white color with gray when you look at it, but I really wanted to do that kind of like cartoon stereotype moon where it's bright yellow purely because I wanted it to pop out from the goddess Diana so that you could really see the difference of the colors in Diana. So then the next day I finally started painting Diana and this I saved for a weekend because I <laughs> knew it would take me so long and Altogether, this painting took me a really long time. Like, I think it was over a span of like four or five days that I worked on this painting, which like looking at it, I feel like you wouldn't think that's the case, but it took me a lot longer than I'd like to admit. <laughs> but yeah, I'm kind of glad I saved Diana for mostly for last because that I had to take like the whole morning of this one Saturday and I just painted it. It took me a few tries to get it to the way I wanted it but I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, it was actually really hard to get a reference picture for Diana mainly because she's been interpreted in so many different ways and in so many different cultures and histories that all the depictions of her are kind of different. Um, my main references for this were this sculpture and this painting of her um, because they were like the most common ones that kept coming up as I was researching Diana and like on the websites and stuff, these are the ones I kept seeing. Um, but I'll put some more pictures up right now, like there were so many different interpretations of her and I ended up having to go off mostly of descriptions of her in like Roman literature that I found online. Um, so that was kind of scary because I draw like everything with a reference photo, like I cannot just like take it from my brain and put it onto paper like I need a reference photo I need something to look at yeah so I needed like a reference photo so it was pretty hard but I'm actually really happy with how it turned out so yeah and then after I painted Diana I painted the stars which I didn't really film because it was more awkward of an angle so like you can't really see me painting the stars but I did get a little clip of that no one never loved her. Now, without further ado, I present to you the goddess Diana. Overall, I'm really happy with how this painting turned out. Um, I love it so much. I actually have it hanging on my wall, but yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this process. Um, I haven't made an art video in a while and I actually really miss making art videos. Um, so if you want to see more, let me know. Um, I'd be happy to make some more art videos, but 
Yeah. Um, make sure you are being a decent human being and you are wearing your masks, washing your hands, all that good stuff. Um, but most importantly, have a great day and don't forget to smile. Bye-bye. Thank you.